Okay, in this lesson we're going to add materials to our scene um, and they will get set up and assigned in the Solaris workspace. We're going to start by putting down a node called the Material Library node. And we're going to put it at the top of the chain and feed it in. That way the materials are available later when we want to assign them. So this node uh, is a container so we can double click to go into it. And from here you'll see it's a Vex Builder area where we can put down a principled uh, shader. And this is um, going to allow us to set up the texture maps. But before we get into that, let's just add some base color, get it set up, make sure everything's assigned and ready to go, and we'll come back and do uh, that later. If we Alt-Drag, uh, we can create a second copy of this, and we'll call this Backdrop uh, Matte. And this one, let's just make that sort of a greenish, dark greenish color just for now to help differentiate it. Now, once we have those here, we need to go back up one level and um, we need to assign them. But we can't assign them right away. We have to do it after the geometry because the geometry has to exist in order for the assignment to take place. So we add the assign material node here, um, knowing that the, the materials and the geometry are feeding into it. So we pick the primitive. So we're going to pick the soccer ball as the first primitive. And then we ask. Um, the material path and that brings up this little widget where we can go materials soccer ball mat and then go uh, okay now we can do more than one on this node so we can assign another object and this time we're going to say give me the backdrop enter so I get the backdrop mesh so I'm actually selecting in the, the the scene view and then again I can bring up this little window and say give me backdrop underscore mat okay so there's the green that's representing the backdrop for the moment so now we go back to the camera where we can see all of this working. And here are some basic materials, uh, but they do not have the texture maps that we have set up in the project. So what we want to do next is assign those texture maps uh, to this particular project. Now that's going to be done uh, back in the material library. So we're going to have to dive back into the material library in order to add the texture map. So double click onto that and we'll start with a soccer ball and if we select that you'll see that there's a textures tab, the third one over, and we can click on that and say oh, okay base color. Let's go in and let's get soccer ball color. And this is in the project directory that you set up at the beginning of the, of the whole project. And there we go. So there's the soccer ball texture. You can see it on the object in the 3D view. We also have a roughness map and a reflectivity map. And we also have a normal map, but we don't assign that here. We're going to go up to the bumps and normal section, say enable, and we're going to assign the normal map and maybe bump down the effect scale just a little bit and that adds a little bit of bump around the logo and with some of the other details. So now we've got the textures assigned to the soccer ball and that's looking good and if we go back up to the stage uh, everything is assigned and ready to go. But we may not like the position of it so if we go select the ball and go tab transform this node gets placed at the end of the chain um, let's tumble around just so we can get that one handle a little bit better. We can actually reposition the soccer ball uh, so the logo goes where we want it to go. So we can rotate around this way, uh, go look back through the camera, and pull that down. And say That's really where we want the logo to be right there. So, you know, uh, you can bring an asset in from the outside world, from USD or from the object level, but you still have the ability to modify and change it here at the um, SOP level, or sorry, at the uh, Solaris or LOP level. Now once we have that, we can go back and work on the backdrop. So we're going to select the backdrop material node, and let's get rid of the green by just going 1, 1, 1. Whenever we assign a texture map, it's good to have 1, 1, 1 so that it, you know, it doesn't, the color doesn't interfere with the map itself. Uh, then we get the texture, we're going to get the backdrop color, 
um, and we're going to get the backdrop reflectivity. Now you'll notice right away that there's a sort of tiling on there. There aren't really any UVs on that ground surface, and so um, it's not. We just need the texture map to fill the whole piece of geometry. So we're going to have to go back and set the UVs up, and we can do that. Go back to the backdrop. And what we want to do is we want to add the UVs um, with just a simple project, but we're going to do it before we bend the geometry. And by doing it before the be we bend the geometry, then we don't have to worry about uh, any stretching. And if we go to the V range, we can go negative 1, and that will straighten, as you see from the letters, that straightens the texture up. And we go back up to the stage level, and now our texture map is covering the whole piece of the backdrop, and looks much better. So just press L to sort of line all that stuff up. Now we can go in and add Karma. Uh, tab Karma will put down two nodes, a Karma Render Settings and a uh, USD Render Raw. We'll talk about that one in a second. So then the settings, um, you can just do things like um, set up your cameras, maybe add your filter, put the denoiser back on, because the one from the viewport doesn't apply anymore if we're going to render this way. Uh, and then we can do the US render up and say render to M play. And that's a floating window that allows you to preview the results. And we just sort of fade it in and out uh, on that. It came up, and now we can sort of watch it, it complete its render. Uh, so now you've been able to light, uh, set up cameras, lights, and materials in Solaris and get uh, this image. So, congrats, that's a great first step.